then so let's get started I have already my my oils and my butter are in my crock pot and they're already heated up I've also added in my um, rosemary antioxidant to help prevent the rancidity Give it a good stir so it's clear. I'm thick. I am stick bent blending to thick tray. And it is heavy. And I have removed it from the heat. I think there is enough heat just by itself to cause it to go into a volcano. And if you look closely, you can see it's starting to move. There we go. It is moving already. There we go. And I will do this several times because I am pushing it. This pot holds about um, comfortably. I can make three logs of the of soap from using the 1501 molds from Wholesale Supplies Plus. However, I am pushing it a little bit because I am putting it. I put enough product together or raw oops raw material together whereby I um, am pushing for four because there's the, this project here plus another one that I need the same ingredients for and I'm covering it again and this will do this several times until it's no more volcanoing And the mashed potato face, it always starts to get really, really thick and it's hard to use. And I keep moving my hands back and forth because I do have a problem with one of my shoulders. So, switching it. And it is heavy. And that is really, really thick. And I see some volcano coming again. Mash it down. Keep going until there's no more volcano in. And I have to keep my eyes on this because remember I told you I was pushing the limits of this pot. Really pushing it. Start 
starting to change. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And look at my temperature, and it's still pretty hot, folks. Still about 200 degrees. Yes, my arms are wearing out. Let's see, I'm gonna put the cover back on for a minute to see if the volcano's any more. If it doesn't, then I am going to start adding in my additives, so. Oh, we're starting to get into that little glassy stage. Look at that. So I'm adding in my super fat. Okay. Let's stir that. Nice. Good. Now I'm going to slowly add in my honey. Oh, it smells so good. The combination of the honey and the orange wax makes the soap smell wonderful. Get some space for my so I have assembled all my my molds with the bubble wrap for the honeycomb look let's go in here and all oh, shucks look at that hopefully you can see it it looks beautiful perfect I am well pleased look at that nice and glossy and it's time to pour into the molds as fast as I can. I'm just gonna take my time for the first few scoops just to lay out in the bottom to get it there nice and neat. Just to lay the foundation. And then tap it a little bit before it gets too heavy. Let me just tap it. Tap it a little bit here. Good girl. And then we can use our bigger spoon. First one is now ready to go into the freezer. And we're gonna fold you over gently and gently touch you here. That's good. All is in here because I'm gonna stir it. I'm gonna push it all down because I am going to do something totally different with this. And now I have finished and 
am going to put this, let's just show so, a total of four soaps and put them in the freezer and then I will be back with you for the cut. Thank you. Very nice. pushing on it. This one came out nice. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. Be abundantly blessed and stay safe. See you on my next video.